Hi there, this is um, just a quick tutorial on a common issue with trying to apply a radius to a, uh, to a crease that goes from being concave to convex as, it, uh, as the crease or edge traverses along surfaces. Um, so as you can see, I've just made a couple of surfaces that meet together. Uh, at one end they are the uh, the crease is convex at the other end it is concave. Now if we just try and apply a radius to that, what happens is the radius splits into two and you have an inflection point in the middle where the radius changes from being con convex to concave and the radius is, runs down to zero basically. And if you look at the zebra stripes it's not that great. So a rather easy way to get around this, we'll just delete that easy way to get around it is instead of using a fillet is to trim back the surfaces and to do that you can insert surface sweep and using circular profile which means we don't need to draw a profile we're just going to have a consistent circular profile at five millimeters and create a pipe and with that pipe that runs down that edge we will trim back the surfaces like that and then we'll hide the pipe okay so these are our trim surfaces so those are trimmed back the equal distance from the sharp edge that was running along there and I'm going to create a boundary surface between the two just using two edges I'm not going to draw Direction two curves on each end and add tangency to face, tangency to face on each. Okay, if you zoom in there or look at the curvature plot, it's pretty flat in the middle. Um, so what what we can do is just extend the tangent influence there to make it a bit fuller. And then present a now we'll just knit those surfaces together. Hey presto, so that's much better looking, uh, we have no peaky uh, points where the radius runs out, um, it's just one surface along there, uh, you can make this some better probably by putting uh, curves down the ends if you want to, if you want to control it, and the zebra plot is markedly better than just using a radius. So there you go, that's how to um, crack concave to convex radius. Oh, hang on, what are we doing here? Curvature. Yep, change it to curvature if you want, it's a lot peakier, anyway, bye.